It's the celebration of our Lord's birth. <laughs> Let me tell you about it in Creole. One cold night We were saviour for born Room no pin day O no pin day for laying at self He been sorry for born Inside open box The king came to me The king came to me so but let the dad the king done born glad the glad the day gladness all side so but so but let the dad he is staying at dunya be they this way in my Is the savior for the lost and the refuge for the troubled. You see, God in all of his goodness sends his son to us. A king, though born in a lowly manger, now so glad Hey, the king unborn. Glad the glad the day, gladness all side. So but so glad the peace day in a dunya.
Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Uh, this is a beautiful day. I greet you all again in the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you for joining us on this beautiful day. On behalf of the founder and general overseer and the family, I greet you all in the name of Jesus and welcome to Holy Ghost Deliverance and Christ Ministry International, aka Paul L. Becker Ministries. The theme of our mission is Jesus Finished Work Movement. Our mission is to preach the good news and the love of Jesus with the power of the Holy Ghost to all nations. We are to work with all churches and the body of Christ through indoors and outdoors programs. Our main goals are to bring sinners to Jesus and the kingdom of God. Church planting and making leaders are part of our mission. A place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Our weekly and monthly programs are as follows. First Sunday of every month is Holy Communion. Every Sunday's live streaming service start at 11 a.m. Every Wednesday's Holy Ghost Hour 9.30 a.m. Every Friday's Holy Ghost Deliverance and Baptism 9.30 a.m. Our offices open from Monday to Friday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For now all our activities are online Facebook and YouTube. If you are led to be a support to our mission, please follow the link on Facebook and YouTube that you are watching from. And if you want to contact us, please contact us through the phone number plus one two five three two two nine zero five five six. Email address Holy Ghost D two zero zero five at gmail.com. Please do not forget to subscribe to YouTube and share with family and friends. Thanks and God blessing. Please let's welcome Paul L. Baker. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. People of God, I greet you again as you have heard. It's already done by the announcement. But let me use this moment again to say. Merry Christmas. Overseas countries are already celebrating their Christmas moment. So we are yet, but by the special grace of God, who will soon join you guys. So it's good to be in the presence of God in time like this. By the special grace of God, this is our first Christmas Eve service in the United States of America since this ministry was established which I believe we are making progress. We are moving forward by the help of the Holy Spirit. 
and this moment, this month is very important to me. Before I go further, I start. Let us pray. I have a few words to say. Sweet Holy Spirit, we commit this moment into your hands. Without you, we can't able to do anything perfect. For this reason, you came to help us to move perfectly with the things of Jesus here on earth. You came to promote Jesus wherever the name is called measure you are there to make it bring deliverance to your people as the whole world is observing this moment the birth anniversary of our lord and savior jesus we choose this moment as a christians to project our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let the holy angels that are out there to bring ministration to your people. We activate them now, sweet Holy Spirit. That the hour we thank you for everything. Let your name be glorified for in Jesus' name. Amen. Mount of December is very important to me. It was the month of me getting salvation. It was a month that God said to the kingdom of darkness, enough, I want to make use of my son. Thank God for the vessel that God used, may her soul rest in peace. She's with the Lord. And I will ever remain grateful to the house of God that my calling came true. It's just like when Jesus, we are talking about Jesus Christ, if we don't call Israel, it's not complete. So I want to use this moment again to salute my nation of birth, Sierra Leone, West Africa, my parents, my loved ones, and especially the very house of God of worship, the servants of God that God used for me to hear the word of God, New Life Ministry International. By the special grace of God, today I had a miracle and I'm here to pronounce to the world to know that officially Holy Ghost deliverance in Christ's ministry have a spiritual appearance. As I said, when God called you, He ordained you, He trained you, He goes around and He makes sure to put you to a place to in charge in place of pressing that you after him god you will listen to them so i'm taking this opportunity i will project it i will say it even unto as january is making me 17 years paul l baker ministry is turning 17 years first sunday 
of January is very important to me. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I want you to join to welcome as I have am pronouncing my spiritual parent. It's no other person but His Grace Bishop Jonathan Achibo Cole and his wife, which is the first lady of that particular ministry that preached the word of God, that I, my calling came through her ministration. So people of God, I have a spiritual covering. As I'm turning 17, I'm using this moment to announce to everybody that my spiritual parents are Bishop Jonathan Achibokol and wife. Daddy, mommy, we love you. On behalf of my family, my sweet, my one and only, my better half, we love you. Amen. I clap for that. Amen. People of God, by the special grace of God, Christmas is here. Some other countries are already celebrating Christmas. They are already in it. We are going little by little to capture our own Christmas. Christmas, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, brought deliverance to the world. Jesus' birth brought deliverance to you and I. Though he was born as a Jew boy, both in spiritual and physical, his coming was for the world. As John 3.16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave. So God gave Jesus for the world. As I said, God uses a particular people, a particular setting, a particular nation to be used as an example. It, God has that superpower to use at the same time. But he don't want to confuse himself just as human beings are. So he chose Israel. He chose the Jew people for the savior of the world to came, which is the king of all kings. Why we are celebrating Christmas, it means to show love, to be kindful, because that was the day that God said, Man has disobeyed me. Man has fallen. Man didn't follow my instruction. They decided to follow the deceiver, the blasphemer. And that brought sickness, suffering, persecution. Everything you think about we are going through today it all started just because of disobedience when god created everything he saw that it was perfect and he said let me let us make man 
that they will enjoy. And God gave man instructions. You do this, you will enjoy. You do this, you will not enjoy. But man decided to follow the deceiver. So Jesus, but Jesus came to love everybody. For those of you that you have allowed the devil to use you, to use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to preach hate, to preach discrimination, racism, you make superiority about Jesus. You are projecting Jesus as if Jesus is that bad person that you use his name, you use everything about Jesus that you bring discrimination on art, segregation on art. You make set of people that if you are not and you are not look like this, you are not in our own camp. Jesus is not for you. No. Jesus is for the whole world. The scripture that I'm going to, when I will say, let them display, I have to use it in two category to part for us to understand who Jesus is and why he came. Let's open our Bible to Matthew. If you have your Bible, could you please open with me on Matthew chapter 2. I'm reading for verse 1 as you can see. It's going to be in two categories. We're going to read this this eve. And on Sunday we continue. Tomorrow we're going to do a presentation. We're going to have a just presentation. We'll see that as a Christmas gift. Let me read. If you have your Bible, please open with me. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose. And we have come to worship him. My dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus said, the word of God said, the children of this world, they are more wiser than us that call ourselves believers. The Bible say, the wise men, This wise man, when you look at the whole content, the whole scripture, the whole verse, didn't tell us where these people really came from and who they are, how many of them. But they said three wise men came to what? To worship a newborn king. What that reflects. The Bible didn't tell us this 
prophets, these believers, but he said, wise men, we came because we have seen the star. Some researchers says, these wise men we are talking about in this content they could have been Jews who remained in Babylon that was a speculation why Israel was in, Israel, in exile and they knew about the new the old testament that is how researchers they said because they knew about the old testament predictions of the messiah coming speculation that maybe these wise men were the jew people so the, the nobody told us we these are just researchers notes maybe because how comes they would have noticed just they only saw a star so they said maybe why israel was in exile in babylon maybe they drop some of the old testament prediction and those people get hold of it another said they may have been eastern astronauts who study ancient manuscripts from around the world because of the jewish centuries earlier they would have had copy of the old testament in their land just as i said they were wise those are all speculations why am i going there I, i'm making it for you to know how important jesus is they told they said they may have had a special message from god directing them to the messiah some scholar says these wise men were each from a different land representing the entire world bowing before jesus i like that conclusion they came from different 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 words i like the thought art representing the whole world jesus is for the whole world be you righteous be you sinner jesus is for you so let me go with the third research note which we believe which some that are called into ministry and preaching jesus we refer jesus for everybody be you jew non-jew he came for you that is why after jesus completed he finished his work he went and sat to sat on the right hand of his father peter and others they were somehow reluctant the traditions and the pattern of the Jewish mentality was in them. They decided to start with the gospel just within. 
Akuri Haba Santari Haba. Because God loved the whole world. Shukari Haba Santa. And God said, It's hard time for me to make another. And we had Saul, which became Paul, that projected Jesus to you and me that Jesus. It's not only for the Jew that Jesus is for the whole world. So that is why I said I would rather take the tour part to make my presentation to the world today. Jesus came for the whole world. You that are allowing the devil to use you to present Jesus and you want to make superiority and you want to make racism you want to make Jesus look so funny to others it will be very dangerous for you Sunday after we complete this Matthew, you will see according to Revelations how Jesus was presented to the whole world. They said the other thing I want you to understand these wise men they didn't wait for God to come and look for them. Shukariaba. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But the wise men said, We have come to worship him. Let's see. How Jesus. Verse 3. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. Verse 4. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, and asked, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Verse 5. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they said, For this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities, of Judah for a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd of my people Israel so my dear brothers and sisters if the world hated you they didn't hate you just because you are called A or you are called B, the world hated you just because you have given yourself, your entire being, to Jesus Christ. The Bible says King Herod was so disturbed. You know why he was disturbed? Because he was not the actual king to be on that seat shukari habasata when people attain leadership when people are in power out of twisting they are always trouble when the original showed up shukari haba in the con jesus was not to become a physical 
king. That is why even the disciples were disturbed. They were thinking Jesus would overthrow the Roman Empire by then and give freedom to the Jewish people. And that is why some of them, up to now, they are still struggling to recognize Jesus. But the good news is, some parts of the world, just as the wise men didn't reject Jesus, they welcomed Jesus. You that are not Jew, you that are out there, are you ready to be like the wise men, to give your life, to bow down to Jesus for him to take control over your life? For this reason, Jesus was born to give you deliverance. For this reason, Jesus came that you may have eternal life. For this reason, Jesus came that that broken relationship, that disobedient, that blasphemer that enter the Garden of Eden and deceive our first spirit. by lying to them and they yielded to him and today the world is going up and down just because of disobedience let's see what wicked Herod said verse 7 then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, Shukari Habasanta, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Verse 8 Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. Lie. He was disturbed just because the wise men appeared and said, where is the king, the newborn king? I don't know who I'm speaking to. But my dear brothers and sisters, you that are watching me, whatever platform you are watching me from, I have a good news for you. They are disturbed just because you have the Holy Ghost in you, just because you have God in you, just because you have Jesus in you. Your appearance brought confessions into their lives. Jesus appeared. Jesus, but when you read, you make some researches just for Jesus. Do you know how many children? So Herod said he held a private meeting with them with this priest they said go and he even told the wise men he said when you find him come tell me that me too we go worship him let's see verse 9 after this interview the wise men went their way and the star they had seen in the east garden in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place 
where the child was born. Then, when they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the whole house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasure crest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and mara. Verse 12. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. My dear brothers and sisters, as this moment supposed to be Holy Ghost hour. But because it fall on Christmas Eve and by the leading and the direction of the Holy Spirit, I present to you this short exhortation as it's going to be deliverance and baptism of the Holy Spirit. That is the program. We're going to take communion, get prepare your mind. As we have read this session, start preparing your mind. Reflect yourself on this moment. Make a reflection. Say, God, I know I'm not worthy. I know my life. It's not perfect, but because your name is perfect, because you are the most high God, because no one is like you, you reign in from everlasting and ever. You are the God of all gods. My dear brothers and sisters, as I'm preparing the communion, reflect yourself. Meditate on the word of God. Let Jesus be in your heart. Let Jesus take control. Let Jesus that speak better things began to speak into your hearts deliverance healing salvation get ready as communion is about to rule as communion is about to be served before I pray meditate on the scripture meditate on the birth of jesus you want deliverance you want the holy spirit to enter you the channel is jesus the holy spirit cannot enter you if you don't have jesus in you yes we have the bread of jesus which is the spirit of god but if you want to gain more access accept Jesus. Before I pray, just say this prayer with me before we pray. This is how today we're going to go. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Forgive my sins. Forgive my iniquities. Create me a new heart. For in Jesus' name, now let me pray for the communion. Sweet Jesus, sweet Yahweh, sweet Holy Ghost, as I have this element with me that represent the blood and the body of Jesus. As today is Holy Ghost hour and on Friday we normally take communion for prayer and deliverance. As people that are out there going to partake with me, Jesus, your finished work has made us whole, made us perfect. As we are about to eat and drink this communion, this holy communion, let 
deliverance, eye opening, salvation, breakthrough, as Jesus Christ came for the entire world. Let your people eat and have deliverance as I serve the communion. And let me go and take and eat. And drink. My dear brothers and sisters, meditate. 2021 is coming to an end. As you have eaten the communion, I will pause for you to reflect. What is your resolute? What you want God to do for you? Reflect, meditate. In Jesus' name. People of God, prepare yourself. As I'm about to pray, deliverance and baptism. Some of you, while the prayer is going on, you will have your deliverance. You will have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He has that power. Connect your faith, yourself to this platform. The authority being invested in me by my Father Yahweh, in the name of His Son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, this is deliverance and baptism. Let the holy angels start to move now. My brothers and sisters, receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the grace. Shokuri habasanta kari habasete. Makuri bo shotori habasanta ri hamasanta. Raba shotori habasotori hama. Receive it. Shakuri haba. Makuri ku shotori hamasite kri haba. Raba sotori hamasanta. Ribo sotori habasoto. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Rihaba Sotori Hama Shotori Haba Kuk Shantari Haba Santa Makuri Boho Sotori Hasutori Hama Makuri Ba Santa O Kari Haba Santa Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit Sickness I command you I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Disappear out of that body now be vanish. Move. 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 That thing, that movement you were not doing before, that pain, receive it. Start moving. Whatever infirmity, Shakuri Haba, get up. Things that you are not able to do. Begin to see yourself doing it now. Receive your healing. 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 Shoturi Haba Santa. You are healed. Oh, Kari Haba, I can see. Breakthrough is coming your way. Breakthrough is coming your way. Makuri Bosoturi Haba Santa. Oh, Kari Haba, I can feel the anointing of Yahweh. I can feel the anointing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Shoturi Haba. Shatari Haba Soturi Haba Kuri Haba Santa. 
Makori bosho tori hama santa. Makori haba. Receive it. Oh, kari haba santa. That back pain. Some of you, there's somebody you had a surgery, a back surgery. And since then, you are still struggling. Yes, you are still trying to figure out. I can hear the Holy Ghost say, you are straightening up, you are bent. I can see God straightening you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Shoturi Haba, Shantari Haba, your deaf ears. Some of, there's somebody, three of them, they have deaf ears. They have hearing, they can't hear clearly. Oh, Kari Haba Santa, I can hear the Holy Ghost said, remove that blockage, that infection is coming out. Blind eyes are open right now. Receive your sight. Receive your sight. Receive your sight. Cancer. Hear me. And hear me well. The Lord rebuke you. You are suffering from cancer. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. Somebody, you are healed from heart you have continuous heart failure. The Holy Ghost said, You are instantly healed. By the time you go for checkup, you have a schedule to go for checkup. Receive your healing. Oh, my Kuri Habasanka. You didn't hear me. That heart failure, that heart failure you have been delivered from it i see god i see the holy angels restoring you right now receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing oh carry haba another blind eyes have just somebody have just received a eyesight your left eye Exactly, the Holy Ghost said, your left eyes, you can't see clearly. You are still having trouble. You have appointment for surgery. The Holy Ghost said, that eyes, just lay your hand there and receive your instant eyesight in Jesus' name. Receive your eyesight instantly in Jesus' name. Makuri Haba Santa. Makuri Bosotori Haba Sinte. Riku Sotori Haba Santa. Makuri Haba Santa Rihaba Santa. Riku Sotori Haba. An issue of blood. Receive. Receive instant healing right now. You have been healed from that disease. You are healed instantly in Jesus' name. That sick bed, doctor has already given up on you. I see the holy angels are bringing life to you right now let the holy spirit move yahweh thank you for your healing baptism is coming upon you now wherever you are at the count of three some of you 
you will receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Sweet Holy Ghost. One, two, three. Shakari Haba. Oh, I can feel the anointing. Receive it. Receive it. Oh, look at that. I, even myself, I'm feeling staggering. The anointing is coming out. It's coming out of me. Receive it. Receive it. Receive the baptism. Receive it. Receive it. Shakari Haba Sata. Makuri Haba Santari Haba. Makuri Bo. Receive the baptism. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Shoturi Hama. Shete Kuri Haba Santari Haba. Ribo Shoturi Hama Santari Haba. Receive it. Receive it. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. Yes, that is the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Ghost. Receive the baptism. Receive the baptism. Receive the baptism. It's coming upon you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Shotori Hama Santa. Riko Shotori Hama Santa Riaba. Your life will never be the same. I say your life will never be the same. Your name has been changed to miracle, to deliverance. You are here in Jesus' name. You are here in Jesus' name. Every four carry herbal Santa, food poisoning. You have been diagnosed that you have eaten something that is poisonous. The Holy Ghost said to tell you, in the name of Jesus, he said you will eat deadly things shall not harm you. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. People of God, the power of God has bestowed upon you Connect your faith to this ministration. Connect your faith. The power of God is moving mightily. Holy Ghost, move. 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 Let me just stand still. He says to just stand still. He's moving right now. Yes, that is him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My Father Yahweh, Jesus, my brother, and the Holy Ghost, I thank you for using me this moment to do your work in Jesus' name. People of God, we have come to the end of Christmas Eve. By the special grace of God, tomorrow, Christmas, our own time, you will hear a Christmas message from this ministry unto you. Don't forget to join us on Sunday. As you can see, the display will show the month team. You've already seen that. We are still moving forward by the special grace of God. We have a few more days to go. As I said, we're going to have service on New Year's Eve. And for Sunday, is turning Paul L. Baker Ministries 17 years. My dear brothers and sisters, and the entire body of Christ will love you. 
on behalf of my family. Enjoy your Christmas. For those of you that are already East Coast, they have already getting into their own Christmas. Overseas, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, we love you. Merry Christmas. Enjoy and stay out of trouble. You can follow the link. Whatever you want to be a blessing to us, just follow the link on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe and to like and share. We love you. Shalom. God bless you. See you. Bye for now.